welcome back guys to another video and today i'll be showing off my hackintosh build so let's get started so first of all let's look at the overall specifications of my build so this is my pc that i do all my work on uh, it has an intel i3 2120 at 3.3 gigahertz 8 gigs of ram and nvidia gtx 960 with 4 gigs of gddr5 ram uh, now I do have the NVIDIA uh, G GTX 960 working properly and that is because I have the NVIDIA web drivers installed by default uh, now more on that later let's go into displays it correctly uh, detects my display version uh, my display model as well as screen size and resolution uh, storage it detects all my storage and memory with the correct slots uh, and also it detects the in internet connection so if we just go at uh, ethernet cards we can see the realtek rt8111 is there now these are the main points of failures even including something like audio which also works uh, really well uh, which is i guess a via hd device uh, in my case so all these uh, drivers and KTX are available from Multibeast. For something like the GPU, you would probably need to go to the uh, to Google and uh, type in NVIDIA then your OS X number and pro enter, and that will lead you to the uh, driver download page. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, even if you uh, have uh, a fairly new graphics card it will work so in my case case it's a gtx 960 now these graphic card listed are officially supported and provided by apple so it doesn't really mean that uh, no other graphic card uh, instead of these will work uh, so this means that oh, these are actually tested uh, by apple and nvidia together and certified to work with mac so if you have a fairly new graphic card like a 750 780 960 uh, and so on it will work really well now to show that it actually works really well uh, i will go ahead and run heaven's benchmark so let's just wait for that to load uh, i have in uh, in this benchmark everything at ultra and 8x uh, msaa uh, and also the resolution is around 1600 by uh, let's see what is the resolution yeah it's 1600 by 900 so that uh, it does not take on the uh, whole screen so here it is uh, heaven's benchmark at ultra and 8x uh, anti-aliasing uh, running at around 30 to 40 fps so this actually means that the GPU driver is working really well, no issues there. Uh, I would really like to thank the people at uh, TonyMacX86.com as well as Hackintosh.Zone for providing the drivers multi-beast as well as the uh, download.img. Now in my case, most of my hardware is really well supported by Apple. So that means I can officially update uh, my OS X Yosemite to El Capitan Capitan or Captain or whatever you might want to call it so if you guys can see I actually have uh, updated it before to 10.10.5 so I actually originally installed 10.10.1 uh, uh, and then upgraded it to 10.10.5 from the official uh, app store so this means that I can officially upgrade my Mac OS installation, uh, no issues there. And uh, yes, so one of the things that is actually not working that well for me, and it's probably due to how Apple have uh, their hardware locked down to a very uh, specific kind of devices and drivers, uh, is that I cannot put my uh, OS X to sleep it actually goes uh, at it won't ever wake up so i have my sleep at never but my display can go to sleep no issues there with that said i am fairly new to the uh, os x experience and i am just learning uh, and we'll just see how it goes from there 
can it replace windows i don't think so because windows has a really nice grip on uh, DirectX 12 so that means every time i want to play games uh, i really uh, need to switch over to windows but it can actually take over in terms of productivity of course uh, the whole windows uh, microsoft office suite is there as well as final cut pro so i'm really going and trying to uh, i'll i'll really go and try to edit this video on final cut pro and see how this actually works out and again thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time